Right, I've been to the West of Zoyland Church of St Mary's, which is over there. I've now cycling along this track and all round here in July 1685 I think it was. They still find bits of rebels and King's army because this was where the last battle of civil war in England took place here called the Battle of Sedgemoor and it was a bloody battle and after the battle it was bloody because the rebels got slaughtered, hung, exported, transported to the colonies. Um, there was a lot of brutality went on but all these fields here is where on the detailed maps of the battle plan and that sort of thing you can see where the the soldiers were sometimes had little pontoon bridges they made they weren't called pontoon they just bits of wood to get across all these rings because Somerset is so flat you need a bit of wood with you <laughs> now I came here a couple of years ago could have been three or four years ago now with Georgia just to show her. I mean, when I was a child, we used to come out here on our bikes, exploring, just like I'm doing now. Although my ancestors and a lot of my forebears weren't exactly from here, not for a long time anyway, I, I, I am from Somerset. I, I feel a close bond with this place. But what I can't remember is exactly Yeah Oh that's handy, a little pole They always made it difficult for you to find, you know Look, the Battle of Sedgemoor, 1685 There's a cannon And it's pointing that way Rebels killed 1,000 300 rebels killed. It's on that pole look. at this spot. So if you imagine going back all those years, people died here all those years ago, right? 400 odd years ago. Gunshot wounds, cannon. Um, I presume it's up here. Yeah, I don't can't remember us walking too far along. See, the thing is, you can go a long way on all these little tracks in Somerset. You know, they they go in and out, and you can actually get to places without actually having to go on the main roads if you know where you're going, which I would prefer. be quite honest I would prefer to go on this sort of track than the main road. I've just been on a very short stretch after I left Westerns Island it was quiet for a bit and until I got on that main road from Bridgewater to Westerns Island. Notorious for its um, terrible tragedies from anything from army service personnel in the war got killed a whole lorry load once through a crash people being killed inside the pub at the halfway in when a car came right through the window and killed them all and to this battlefield here but I reckon you could probably roam on see that up that track to go it to where I want to go right across the moors you know where you're going right now here's the spot that commemorates this spot commemorates the battle. Now, when we were kids, you can, we used to get in that field to see if we could find any skulls. They probably would, there was probably loads still under the ground. They wouldn't have dug it all up. This is the main battle site. And there's a plaque there. Here we've got 1700 Plassey, so 1750, whatever that 
is all about. Then you've got 1800 Trafalgar, 1806, is it, or 5, Waterloo, 1815. It's the camp commemorate things. And some other war there. To the glory of God and in memory of all those who, doing the right as they gave it, fell in the Battle of Sedgemore, the 6th of July, 1685, and now buried in this field, or who for their share in the fight suffered death, punishment or transportation pro patria. Yes, like I said, in that field, many people perished. people perished. I might go have a little wander around the field in a minute just to get the feel like I was a kid. There is a cow in there or it could be a bull so I won't go too far. And here we've got another plaque look. In the thick of battle the Red Regiment of Foot Soldiers, the most highly trained of the rebel forces, formed into a fight, into a line and engaged the Royal Troops. John Churchill, the King's second command, moved Royal Artillery in to support the troops under fire and then sent two regiments to the right-hand flank. This cut off the Eastern Rhine crossing, thereby closing off the exposed northern approach and reducing the rebels' options. Despite the brave efforts of the Red Soldiers, the rebel regiments gradually began to disintegrate and the troops started to break line and run, hotly pursued by the Royal Troops. That's a little bit more. You are here. Battlefield Memorial. Bussex Farm is over there. Weston's Oil in there. Yeah, we've just come along that track there, look. That's the field there where the battle took place. At 2am the rebel cavalry attacked. The rebels were hoping to surprise the encamped Royal Army by attacking at night. Unfortunately, their guide lost the way at the Langmore Rhine and couldn't find the, the crossing point. Right, I'm just going to have a little wander. I bet a lot of people do. It's just to get a feeling. I mean, I know you're not supposed to. But like when I went to the Battle of Hastings, I actually got out on the field. And I don't want to pick up too many ticks, so this is pretty real tick land, I should imagine, around here. Right, this, I am actually on the battle. I'm on the battlefield, everybody. And, um, there's a cow up there, look. You think you might see a sword or a, a skull sticking out, but it'd be under the ground. Look. You could be, I could be standing on one now, see? This is where the Battle of Sedgemore took place, everybody. This is Sheila. I'm at Western Zoyland. James II. And behind me we've got the beautiful Somerset countryside everywhere. I'm up on my bicycle visiting churches, breathing in the Somerset air. Absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, I've got to turn off now.
because I always run out of video. I'd like to walk around more, I must admit, there's no path. Over and out then. <laughs>